The animal kingdom can be a difficult and violent place to live in. There's always another predator around the corner. In order to keep an eye out and be able to defend themselves properly, animals must develop one sense above all others in order to stay alive. Fearlessness. From huge African buffalo to the hyper deadly black mamba, here are 15 most fearless animals in the world. Number 15. Gorillas Gorillas are not only the largest primates on Earth, but they're definitely one of the most fearsome ones as well. Given their huge stature and unequivocal strength, they're able to strike fear into any predator that thinks it has a chance at a meal. So predators better beware. Gorillas are some of the strongest of the animal kingdom, holding a spot in the top 10 strongest animals on Earth. Gorillas are split between two types, the mountain-dwelling gorilla and the ones that inhabit the lowland. It's been observed that the mountain gorillas are much bigger in size and therefore much stronger than the lowland ones. Mountain gorillas live on slopes of highlands and they're today only found in Uganda, Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Gorillas also share 98% of their DNA with human beings. This is manifested in not only their human-like resemblance, but their ability to walk on their hind legs. They also possess a very high level of intelligence, so all of these things put together, and it's easy to see why movies like Planet of the Apes is so terrifying in the end. Because it's completely possible. I mean, it's fiction, but who really knows? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. African Buffalo while the African Cape Buffalo may not have the same level of intelligence as the gorilla, it more than makes up for it in its sheer mass. Buffaloes are absolutely huge, and stout as well. Along with their enormous size, they're very temperamental and can attack on sight in a flash. In fact, in 2018, a hunter was actually gored to death after being blindsided by a buffalo. These guys are so dangerous, in fact, that they've been included on a list of animals that are deemed the Big Five, along with leopards, rhinoceroses, elephants, and lions. These five animals are considered as being the most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa. And along with their grumpiness, they can run up to 35 miles per hour. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of the Cape Buffalo and one of their most dangerous weapons as well is their large horns. They serve to keep predators at bay, as well as telling the difference between a male and a female. The Cape Buffalo should also not be confused with their American counterpart, the bison. But how do you tell the difference? Well, bison, they have that little goatee thing, and buffaloes don't. Number 13. The Spotted Hyena It's hard to say what scares me the most about a hyena. Could it be the loud cackle that it produces, which has become a staple in the soundscape of the African bush? Or perhaps it's its hunched over and diabolical stare. In any case, the hyena does have a reputation for being a vicious scavenger of the African wild, and this has been discovered quite to be the opposite in recent years. Hyenas have recently been observed to be quite adept at hunting prey. <laughs> Females dominate the social hierarchy of hyenas and do the hunting for the pack, which should come fairly easy considering that they're bigger and stronger than their male counterparts. Females are actually 850 millimeters in height at the shoulders and weigh 70 kilograms, whereas the males only weigh about 60 on average. Long assumed to be part of the dog family, the hyena is now thought to have more cat-like features, which include their style of hunting. Though the way they form their packs closely resembles that of a wolf pack, they stick together and will sometimes disband and form smaller packs on their own. Number 12. The Leopard 
Now just imagine you're walking through the jungle and out of nowhere a freaking leopard jumps out of the trees and starts attacking you. It's pretty terrifying, isn't it? Well, that's exactly how a leopard pounces on its prey in the wild. They're very agile runners and climbers and will hide in trees and then all of a sudden, wham, they attack from above. Now trying to spot a spotted leopard's actually difficult because their spots camouflage their bodies perfectly within the foliage. Leopards don't usually gore the crap out of their prey to kill them. Oh no, they break their necks in order to suffocate them. And once they've caught their prey, they'll retreat back into the trees for dinner. Leopards are so strong, in fact, that they're even able to lift their prey back up into the tree with a surprising amount of ease. The prey is then dragged into the trees in order to keep scavengers at bay. I'm looking at you, hyenas. And it keeps everyone else away from their meal. Leopards are also very skilled swimmers and have been known to eat different sorts of fish and crab that they might come across. I think it's safe to consider that the leopard is super beautiful, yet super dangerous and one of the most deadly in the world. Number 11, Rhinoceros. Now I'd love to see an epic showdown between a buffalo and a rhino. What do you guys think? Who would win? I'd put my money on the rhino, but the buffalo are actually quite agile, so it's a tough call. In any case though, rhinos are the tanks of the animal world and definitely deserve a spot on our list. But how exactly are rhinos like tanks? Well, apart from their ginormous size, they have a layer of skin that's actually two inches thick. But even though the skin is crazy thick, it's also very sensitive. So getting bitten is excruciatingly painful for the rhino. This sensitive skin also allows them to gauge and read their surroundings on a more detailed level. The thing that rhinos are most famous for and poached over are their front horns. Despite their appearance, a rhino horn isn't actually made out of bone. The base substance of the rhino horn is a protein called keratin, which is the same thing that's found in your fingernails and your hair. And it's crazy that something so valuable is basically just a bunch of compacted hairs that grows throughout the rhino's lifespan. Number 10, lions. Now, of of course we have to have lions on the list. What do you think we are, crazy? Lions are called the kings of the jungle for a reason, though I suppose you could debate the fact. The lion is one of the most powerful hunters, considered to be the top of the food chain in the animal world, and they are the only wild feline species to live and hunt in groups. All other felines are solitary species. The fact that they hunt in packs really does make them that much more dangerous. They're able to hunt tactically and trap their prey before going in for the kill. The females do all of the hunting for the pride and cooperate with each other, switching roles in the hunt in order to effectively kill the prey of the moment. And this is all while the males protect the pride and everyone else from outsiders, even other lions. The lion's actually the second largest living cat after the tiger. The male lion, easily recognized by its mane, weighs between 150 to 225 kilograms and females average out at about 120 to 150. A lion's legs are pretty short but have very powerful muscles that help give them some extra power while hunting or fighting. Lions can actually run about 30 to 36 miles per hour, whereas much of their prey can reach up to 50 miles per hour. Number nine, the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons may be one of the smaller entries on the list, but don't be fooled, it's also one of the deadliest. The Komodo dragon is the biggest lizard in the world, weighing in at sometimes 150 kilos, and they can grow up to three meters in size. The Komodo dragon is a relatively new finding as well, being discovered on a handful of islands in the Indonesian archipelago during the First World War. Using their razor sharp claws and teeth, these lizards are able to bring down goats, horses, or even our good friend the buffalo. Because of their aggressiveness and power, the Komodo dragon has no natural enemy in the wild. 
Except, of course, human beings, but I suppose that's a given for almost any species at this point. While the Komodo dragon is a solitary animal, they've been seen to sometimes hunt in packs, are able to lie in wait for hours, stalking their prey, and the first bites are usually quite deadly. However, if the prey does manage to escape, and that's a big if, that bacteria from the dragon's mouth is going to infect the wounds, and then they'll die within 24 hours. So the dragon ends up winning anyways. Number 8. Polar Bears Now I know, they may be cute, they may be fluffy, but polar bears are also pretty huge and could kill you in an instant. Coming in anywhere between 350 and 700 pounds, the polar bear's more capable of handling itself if presented with a threat than most. They don't just reside on the polar caps as well. A polar bear's habitat actually extends down into Greenland and even some of the most northern parts of the United States. Because of their deserted and barren surroundings, polar bears are the most carnivorous of the entire bear family. And in fact, the polar bear's most common hunting method is something called still hunting. This method sees the polar bear using their keen sense of smell to find holes in the ice where the seals come out of the water. They then wait for the animal to pop up and kablam. They then pounce on whatever is unlucky enough to come out first. They're also known to swim out into open waters to catch fish and seals, and most of their hunting is done this way, with very little of it happening on the open ice. Their super white fur helps them to seem like a piece of ice and also blend in with their surroundings. Number 7. The Black Mamba Widely touted as the most deadly and dangerous snake of the world, the black mamba is an agile and highly poisonous snake. In fact, their venom is so poisonous that one bite actually contains enough neuro and cardiotoxins to kill 10 people. The amount of venom a black mamba injects in a single bite activates a quick start of symptoms, which include asphyxiation and cardiovascular collapse. Oh, and there's a 100% fatality rate for untreated bites. Most adult mambas reach about 2.5 meters, with one of the longest having been measured at 4.4 meters. That one was found in Zimbabwe. Contrary to popular belief, though, the black mamba is not very aggressive. In fact, it'll actually do anything it can to avoid a confrontation, especially when it comes to humans. And if it can't escape and feels threatened enough, it'll raise its entire front body and head off the ground while flattening its hood to try and scare off any potential threat. If it still feels threatened after that, it's going to bite you with several quick strikes. The biggest danger for man is when he attempts to kill the black mamba, as the mamba is going to do everything in its power in order to defend itself. Number 6. The Great White Shark Sharks are widely considered to be the apex predator of the animal world. A killing machine whose entire biological makeup is designed for hunting and killing. These prehistoric animals are just that as well, claimed to be millions of years old by scientists and becoming the top of the aquatic food chain. Growing up to around four and a half meters in length, the great white shark may seem quite erratic with the way that they attack, but this is far from the truth. They're actually very methodical. Great whites are armed with an incredible sense of smell along with huge mouths that are lined up with up to 300 triangular serrated teeth in multiple rows. They do actually usually attack their prey from below, reaching up to speeds of about 15 miles per hour. Great white sharks are, without a doubt, the most feared of all shark species and take most of the credit for a lot of shark attacks that occur in the world. Though this is not entirely true, there are other sharks like bull sharks that roam the same waters and are also very capable killing machines. So for all of you haters out there, give the great white a break. Number 5. Gray Wolves Now I think it can easily be said that wolves are the king of the forest because they're famous for hunting in packs and they can bring down just about anything including a giant moose. 
And for the lone wolf out there, they take down beavers and rabbits and other small game. Animals included in their diets differ depending on where they are geographically, as well as on the prey that's available. They're not known to track as well using blind luck and their keen sense of smell, and the wolf can actually consume up to 9 kilograms of meat in one setting and usually use the entire carcass, which includes some hair and bones. Talk about being ecologically friendly. The wolf pack is a vicious one because they're not only very capable hunters, but have been known to kill members of their own pack as well. They usually only kill one of their own pack when the wolves have become too old or immature or sick because they gotta keep moving. Don't try to go taming one of these bad boys either and keep it as a pet, because these are some very wild and unpredictable animals, and they'll encircle you and kill you faster than you can crap your own pants. Number 4. The Saltwater Crocodile Another one of those supposed prehistoric animals on the list, the saltwater crocodile is the largest living crocodilian in the world. These mammoth jammas weigh an average of 1,000 pounds with a length of 17 feet, though it's also not uncommon for them to weigh about 2,000 pounds and have a length of 23 feet. They're also known to be the most likely animal in the world to actually eat a human being. Saltwater crocodiles, or salties as the Australians affectionately call them, are what's called opportunistic hunters, meaning that they're going to lie in wait partially submerged in the water for their prey to just come to the edge for a quick drink, and then as quick as lightning, they jump out of the water and thrash around with the prey in their mouth. Saltwater crocs have a very large range for their habitats, populating the brackish and freshwater regions of eastern India, southeast Asia, and northern Australia. And because they do spend so much time in the water, they're also excellent swimmers. So good, in fact, that they've been spotted in the open waters of certain seas and oceans. Number 3. The Tiger Tigers are the biggest felines of the world. And in their home turf, they're at the tippy top of the food chain with no other animals around to challenge them. They should, however, be very careful of bears, elephants, and particularly big buffalo. That being said, these are not necessarily the predators of the tiger, but definitely some animals that would be able to properly defend themselves should a tiger decide to attack one. Kind of like the gray wolf, tigers are also known to attack and kill another male for their territory. After killing the other tiger, the winner will then go and kill the pups in order for him to then mate with the female and populate the area with his own offspring. That's super duper brutal. I mean, they may be kitties, but they're actually savage kitties. Tigers may be very capable of handling themselves in the wild, but when confronted with the dangers of mankind, they're fighting a losing battle. Tigers are very near extinction, and with hunting showing no signs of slowing down, things aren't looking very great for the tigers of the world. So for those of you who can help, go and have a look at how you can save the brutal kitties of the world. Number 2. The Killer Whale now, I might have misspoken earlier when I said that great white sharks are the apex predators of the sea, because they might be the most famous, but I might have to change my tune and name the killer whale as the ruler of the sea. If you're still not sure if you agree, consider this. Some wildlife enthusiasts caught a fight between an orca and a great white off the nearby shores of California. And who do you think won? Well, it was without a doubt the orca. I wish I would have seen a battle like that. Sounds super intense, like lions and wolves. Orcas hunt in packs and have been known to eat salmon the most, but have also been known to feed on great white sharks and even other orcas. Jeez. Orcas are the biggest member of the dolphin family and are considered the apex predators of the ocean, seeing as no other animals can prey upon them. So how in the heck did sharks get all the attention in the end? Well, orcas can grow between 6 to 8 meters in length and weigh roughly 6 tons. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner here. 
but maybe the next entry on the list could actually take the orca. Number 1. The Honey Badger Oh yeah, buddy. I think pretty much everyone can agree that the honey badger is the most badass animal in the world. Not necessarily because it's big and strong and all that, it's quite the opposite actually. The honey badger's small, coming in at 95 centimeters, weighing only about 12 kilos. It's also considered one of Africa's most ferocious animals. They've been known to attack lions and buffalo when they feel threatened, and I'm not even kidding. They'll also attack humans when in danger. They have a powerful bite, along with loose skin, and that helps them to wiggle their way out of anything's grasp, if they're even caught to begin with. Honey badgers eat a pretty wild variety of foods as well, including eggs and fruit, honey, and even reptiles. And they also have a strange relationship with the honey guide, which, as the name entails, is a sort of guide bird for the honey badger itself. It leads them towards some food and sometimes shelter. So apart from its angsty attitude, because you know honey badger don't care, it can also have a pretty good friend in the bird. Size can be a major factor in being on top of the food chain and staying alive in the animal world, but if there's anything we've learned from our list, size is not all that matters. <laughs> but it's also the fearless attitude that certain animals adopt in the face of certain danger. So take note everyone, have courage, become fearless. Which of these animals would you like to see pitted against one another and which one do you think would win? Also, check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.